Hello and welcome to ALW Exploration. Today we're going down to a secret bunker and it was an auxiliary unit operational base. It's down here. Let's go. Exploring Dave's up ahead. We're looking for the secret operational base. Winston Churchill had these built all over the oh, shotgun shell there. Winston Churchill had these built all over the country in the Second World War in case of an invasion and the idea was that uh, local farmers and gamekeepers, things like that would go to these bases and operate within them and cause absolute mayhem with the Germans and it's in here somewhere so it's going to take a little bit of finding Auxiliary units of the Second World War sometimes known as Churchill's Secret Army, was a sabotage organisation set up in 1940 in case of a Nazi invasion. The auxiliary units were a secret resistance network of highly trained volunteers prepared to be Britain's last-ditch defence during World War II. They operated in a network of cells from hidden underground bases around the UK. Their secret underground hideouts were known as operational bases or observation posts. The personnel for the special duties auxiliary units were carefully selected from the home guard and were quite often local farmers, gamekeepers and poachers who knew how to live off the land and had built an experience with knives and firearms. There we go, exploring Dave's found it. Here we go. Yeah, the main structure's collapsed. Rabbit. Rabbit. Just Dave. Yeah, so that's obviously the entrance. There's the, yeah, there's the main entrance then. We're just looking here. Sorry for the, the trees trying to attack me. We're just looking here. You can see there, they see the little holes in the wall. That's where the ladder used to be. I'd heard, I've read somewhere about this bunker and it said it had two inch poles going across for the ladder. I'll show you the other side as well. And then someone's pulled it out afterwards. You can still see some of the wood structure and then the, the main steelwork itself has collapsed. Yeah, it's just caved in, hasn't it? Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, there's remnants of the steel there. I'll jump down in a sec. I'll go down in a minute. Yeah, if you go down, I'll pass a gimbal to you. Yeah, so Winston Churchill had these built and they were all over the country but it was all a secret. They were manned by part of the home guard but it was poachers and gamekeepers and farmers and things like that, <laughs> a little slip. Um, they, they used to man these and they'd, they'd operate from here. Apparently the escape tunnel was still here as well so we'll look for that. But well, this would have been the main compartment. This would have been uh, for air, a breathing pipe. Um, and then there's another one behind us. Not that mate. There's another one down there. And then this was the main like shaft down into this what would have been the bunker. But this this is all rotten. Rotted through, sadly. So it's another one lost. And there were the communication pipes and pot pipes there for the comms because he had telephone and radio down here Dave's going in so that'll be off to the escape tunnel won't it? I think this is still part of the main chamber yeah. I think the escape tunnel's further over there but if I open up this area maybe we can reach in with a camera and get a view inside definitely yeah it's sad it's collapsed but these literally were I mean they were only built for 
think they were obsolete by 1944. Once D-Day had happened and they started getting a foothold in Germany, in Europe, once they had a foothold in Europe, they, these became less and less needed. It was only sort of 39 to 43 that they were like thinking, Operation Sea Lion, the Germans are going to come across, um, which as we know never happened. That part of history is sealed, but back then they didn't know, so they had these bases. And each operational base had a set of instructions of what to carry out if the Nazis did invade. And it was such things as isolate and capture or exterminate local police forces, things like that. Anybody of a position that could help the Germans, these operational base patrol members where to carry out such orders. That's why they, were, they had to be so secret. Dave's going to go in there with his little camera now and try and get some footage of what it looks like in there. We'll also go to the escape tunnel and see if we can find... Because these had a big concrete tunnel on them. We'll try and find that, see if that's still extant. Uh, if so, yeah. Right, we're going to flick over to Dave's camera now. Yeah, so that's the back wall and just down there there would be the escape tunnel. Sadly we can't see it. Um, but you get an idea of what it was like. Yeah. <coughs> Back out again. I don't know if anyone from the Colesville Auxiliary Research Team or anybody viewing this video recognises this but that is that to me looks like a war issue draw that would have been part of the bunker that has been pulled out for whatever reason but it's good for us because it's we can view it let's go look at the escape tunnel so we found the escape tunnel well we Dave's found the escape tunnel uh, and here it is and we've got some footage of inside which I'll put up right about now. See if we can get in there. Goes in the long way. Let's have a look. And we're in. <sighs> Looks like it's collapsed from the other end. But uh, at least we're in it. Sorry about the shaky camera work. I don't have a lot of room to work with. There we go. That's where the collapse is. That goes through to the main bunker, the main chamber. Suddenly this is the end of the line. And that's the escape tunnel. <sighs> See if we can get turned round now. Not so much room for, for a, a block to turn round in these. There we go. Exit now. along on my hands and knees this is a route the patrol members would have took if their operational base was compromised and they needed to escape fighting and now into the woods there we are that's the exit from the escape tool and that over there where Andy is is the bunker see if we can zoom in a little just there on the other side of that tree
thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate all your support if you're enjoying these sorts of videos drop a comment uh, and please subscribe and I'll see you soon bye bye for now